Um, I don't think you've missed a fairway today since we've been no, filming. it's a big fairway, but it did really good. <laughs> yeah, hit it very straight, very smooth. Hey, Jerry, who's the, your opinion, is the greatest golfer of all time? I got to go Jack Nicklaus, too. Yeah, I'm going Jack Nicklaus, too. Tiger, after the last Masters, is awfully close now. But I'm still going Nicholas. You're still going Nicholas. What was Nicholas's big? What's the thing you'd remember about Nicholas, especially from his heyday? What's the big thing, the image that gets conjured up when you think about Nicholas? Yeah, I've seen so many pictures of the classic stuff that you see with Nicholas, where he just the right arms in the air, he's wound up, that left heel's coming off the ground, they tremendous pivot. So we're talking about tip. the thing that everybody knows Nicholas for is when you decided to rear back and fire. It was like impressive, like borderline violent, super impressive. Man, could he move it? I mean, he was hitting he didn't it. He wear a hat, the white hair is flying everywhere. He was hitting it 50, 60 yards past everybody, kind of like what Bryson DeChambeau is attempting to do this year. So let's take a look at a little bit. You know, it's not really a secret secret, but it's not really the coaching style or the swinging style much anymore. But let's take a look in this video at a couple of different things that Nicholas was doing to get that kind of massive amount of power. So if you will need to hit it out there a little bit farther, you're gonna to wanna to watch this, so stay tuned. Hey, this is Steve from hititlonger.com. As you know, I'm on a journey to hit it longer and straighter, not just off the tee, but also to the green, all around the green because why? Because that's just what makes golf more fun. <laughs> and I'm joined today by the Big Smoothie. I'm among other nicknames. This is Jerry Kroll, PGA, out here from Goose Creek Golf Club in Harupa Valley. Thanks for joining us on such a beautiful day. We're talking about how did Jack Nicholas get so much power? Well, that's a real open-ended conversation, obviously. So let's narrow it down for this video. The scope of this video, let's just talk about a couple key points down in the lower body. We're talking about specifically the left knee and the left foot. Mm -hmm. And why don't you take it from there? Right. So I don't know if you show some images of Jack or yep. you've seen these images of Jack. There's some really good ones where he's wearing a red shirt. And it just it's, from, it's like from 150 yards away and it's zoomed in. It's such a cool picture. Yeah. But what you'll see, and Nicholas, by the way, not just his pivot, but he was talked about as having a swing flaw having a flying right elbow, sure. which I completely disagree with, as do by I. the way. As do you I. know, packing the right elbow, I think it's, it's become kind of a teaching thing. I don't understand why, but Nicholas was known for this tremendous hip swivel, the left knee coming in, the left heel flying off the ground. So that, wouldn't you say, right I'm going to drop a club down right to the midline between your feet. You're telling us that you're getting your knee right onto that midline, and you're actually detaching the heel off the ground. See, a lot of people, they don't do this. I get a lot of comments about my left foot position during videos. They're commenting, hey, you actually, looks like you lift your entire foot off the ground. Well, not exactly. Show that position at the foot again. I want to point okay. something out. Wouldn't you say right now that the only part of your left foot that's touching the ground right now is the inside of your big toe? Correct. I mean, even this spike by the pinky toe, off the ground, pointing down the fairway. Now, how much weight could you support on that foot if you were in that position, if you stood on it like that? If I stood up like standing like this? Yeah, if you put your foot in that position, how fast would you come down like a house of cards? <laughs> if I tried to <laughs> yes. do that? Yeah. yeah. So maybe five, 10 pounds of, of um, force or five or 10 pounds of weight in your left foot going into the ground. So where's the rest of your weight then? The back swing, the rest of my weight is inside my right leg. So you've shifted right. so much weight. That's essentially what we're doing here. One of the one of the primary reasons that we would make a move like this that would give us more distances, it's causing us to make a more complete weight shift. Sure. The other thing that it was going to give you is going to allow your hips to turn more, which is going to allow your shoulders to turn more. You'll make a bigger, more powerful wind-up. So greater shift of weight to the right, bigger wind up, I could see that could only lead to more power for not just Nicholas, but 
for most everybody out there. Why don't we do this? Why don't we take a look at you doing this move from a couple of different angles? We'll slow it down, show everybody precisely how you're doing it. Oh, wow, Jerry, the slow-mos, I think everybody will agree with me, looking at the slow-mos of those swings you just made, especially the close-up one from behind, looking just square at your feet, you have really good footwork. And certainly you displayed for everybody exactly what we're talking about, how to detach that heel and roll to the inside of the foot, which of course kind of automatically positions the knee more in the middle. Now, now how does that feel to you and how does you how do you feel that affects your power? Well, I, I like to talk about the separation between the upper and lower body. Okay. As it regards to maybe a modern swing where a, a planted heel swing ah. versus a detached heel swing. Right, right. And the, the, this teaching philosophy of keeping the left heel down, I don't think had real validity to it. Because they're, they're trying to tell you, keep the lead heel down, for a right-handed golfer, the yep. left foot, and you can have less hip turn and you have more rubber band stretch ah. if you resist with the lower and turn right. with the upper. So, now first of all right. first of all I don't think you should hurt yourself playing golf. <laughs> okay, okay? That's, that's gonna happen. That's a fair statement. Okay. Second of all, if I detach my heel, I'm still making a 90 degree or maybe more shoulder turn and my hips are still 45. There's still separation there, but I'm making that bigger turn. So without it's just the fear of injury. That is a really good point. So you were able to, what you feel, if I can sum it, you're able to more safely be able to make a more complete weight shift and a bigger wind up of the hips and shoulders, therefore giving us, what we say in this video, more Nicholas-like power. Now, of course, we know not everybody out there, hardly anybody out there is going to be able to hit the ball like Nicholas. Neither one of us can even come close. I mean, hitting it 300 yards with a persimmon club almost in the air. I mean, Nicholas just smashed the ball. So, but for sure, everybody out there, if you give this a little bit of a try, and maybe for the first time, you don't have to go all the way with it, but just, you know, start to make a little move like that, start working a little bit of move with that foot inwards and up and the knee to work in, I think it's gonna free you up for more weight shift and a bigger turn too. And I'll bet you that you start hitting the ball down the fairway farther. Hey, if you do give this a try, I would love, Jerry would love to hear back from you. Um, let us know how you did and how it affected your swing. Leave it down below in the comments. So hopefully this video has helped illuminate exactly how Jack was creating more of his power, how we both feel like you should maybe adopt a couple of those principles. And I think we're, those are gonna help you hit it farther too. Oh, this is Jerry, I'm Steve. Thanks so much for watching. And hopefully either we'll see you in the next video or we will see you longer and straighter down the fairway. Take good care. Say good night, Gracie. Good night, Stevie. <laughs>